It's... <coughs> As you may know, my love for cereal knows no bounds. I will go to great lengths for it. I will even travel back in time for it. And in a sense, hmm. that's what we've done today. Yes, thanks to eBay, we have acquired some discontinued cereals and we're about to determine if they should be recontinued. It's time to play To Be Discontinued Cereal Edition. That's right, we have acquired discontinued cereals. We're gonna be tasting them and then rendering the verdict, scoop it, it should be recontinued or poop it. Just let it die. And these have been, some of these have been off the shelves for a long time, years, and we might eat all of them. So don't try this at home. Just yeah. let us do it. Let okay? us do it. All right, first up, uh, it's a limited edition cereal dedicated to retired basketball player Tim Duncan, who is regarded as one of the greatest power forwards in NBA history. It is the Slam Duncan O's. Now I'm not gonna open all these boxes like my children open boxes because it's kind of like collector's items. I'm gonna oh, try to yeah. be, even though I already ripped be that a, one a little bit. A little bit. meticulous, a little you can pour it in your bowl. We paid $27 once you include shipping for this. Uh, so I hope it's, I hope it's worth it. Uh, it was released in January of last year through a gro grocery store chain that's in the Texas area, which makes sense. Now, first of all, just the appearance of the cereal, it looks like Cheerios and Cocoa Puffs just mixed together, which if you guys did that, shame on you, Tim Duncan. Or maybe it's a genius move. Well, there's more evidence that supports this because look, this has absolutely nothing about the cereal. It's just all about Tim Duncan. It's just Tim Duncan facts. And mysteriously, Tim Duncan's face is nowhere to be found on this. He's like, just use my back. <laughs> That's true. Isn't that weird? He it's the only cereal endorsed by someone that only includes their back. Wow, now he had a cereal in 2000. I bet that one was all about his face. So it look. shouldn't be too bad because, I mean, they've been. It's not that old. So we're gonna dink it, we're gonna sink it. Hmm. Well, it's stale. It's definitely not fresh. Mm -mm. I also taste a little Tim Duncan. <laughs> I don't mm. like it. <laughs> it's not bad, I mean, but you can just buy two boxes of cereal and mix them together. Sorry, Tim. So you're saying poop it just because you can mix two existing it's cereal? It's just too simple. He was afraid to show his face. It's not as good as the Glen Rice Krispies I had. I once. like it. So I think we're divided on this first one, guys. I'm saying scoop it. I'm saying poop it. If your butt is putin because of gluten, then you'd love these gluten-free brown rice krispies. They're uh -huh. like regular rice krispies, but made without barley malt. And this from uh, when? Uh, this was discontinued just a couple of years ago, uh, 2015. Uh, we got it for 15 bucks. What a steal for some crisp rice. And the interesting thing is, it's English, and then bam, it's French on the back. So, oh. snap, crackle, pop becomes crick, crack, croc in Francais. Of course, because those sounds are different on the other side of the ocean. Crick, Actually, crack, crick, croc. crack, and croc sounds more, because I've never heard something make a, a crackle. Uh, I hear crick, crack, and croc a lot more than snap, crackle, pop. The French are right again. Oh, it's interesting. There's like little ridges, ridges on some of the pieces. Do you brown, see brown barley stuffs. It's not that different than what I remember regular Rice Krispies taste like. Tastes exactly the same to me. Rice Krispies is more about a texture than it is about a taste. That's why you gotta dump a lot of sugar in there, honey, something else. They even put raspberries on the box itself, you know? You gotta have something added to this because it's lacking. But, but for people who are deprived of it because of gluten, they need this. Yeah, so what happened? Why did it get discontinued? Did Snap, Crackle, and Pop like got over celiacs? Is that what happened? That must be it. I don't think you can do that. I think it's permanent. So you think that I mean, I think this is an economic decision. I'm gonna leave it to them. I, based on taste, I'm not bringing it back. So if demand doesn't dictate it, I'm saying poop, poop it. it. Back in the year 2000, Kellogg's released the limited edition Power Puff Girls cereal. Now this box is 17 years old. Wow. Guys. I so wonder if it still fizzes in your mouth. We, got, <laughs> we gotta proceed with caution. Uh. We paid $12 to ship this, but we only paid $7 to acquire it. So. This is not, not highly demand. sought after. It's got like a. Oh, it's got games on the back. Oh, I gotta be real careful with this. Yeah. What's in there? It looks right? like it's one big mass. Pour me. Oh, it's one big mass. Oh, it actually smells like regular cereal. Oh, it's called yeah. There you yeah, go. that's good. That's good. That's good. It's Whoa. actually very rice crispy. Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna pour my milk in here. See what this does. Yeah, it has a Rice crispy kind of a nature to it. But 17, does the cereal get better with age? Sure. 
It's like wine. It smells totally normal. I mean, it, does. it doesn't really smell. I don't think you can. I think this stuff would be good to the year three thousand. Just kidding. Um, is it fizzing? Okay, now it's really starting to taste bad. It does. Oh gosh. Oh, you're spitting it out? I wouldn't swallow it. Mm. It, it tastes mm. like bugs. <laughs> no, it's it's something. No, it does taste like bugs. The bugs that we've eaten on this show, where they're like dried <coughs> and nasty. Oh, we should get it out, man. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, First of all, they missed out on a great opportunity to make Power Puff wheat cereal. That was the main thing that I, that I think is missing in, in this whole thing is that they didn't go with puffed wheat. Um, oh. That was really just staring them right in the face. It but, smells great, but it tastes like insects. But I feel like I could taste what it would have tasted like if it were the year 2000. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to scoop it just based no, on- No, 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 definitely, you should not scoop this. You should definitely poop this. <laughs> Next up, we've got Bill and Ted's Excellent Cereal, based that. on the 1989 film Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It doesn't really hold up. The movie? Uh, the movie doesn't really hold up. Let's see if the cereal does. Look at this packaging, though. On the front, it's got a free cassette tape case. Well, if you did, if you haven't seen the movie, in the movie, they have a, a, a phone booth that they get in to travel through time, so that's what this is. And Keanu Reeves is in it. You know, the guy from The Matrix. Check that out, right? I will. We get yourself a cassette holder. I feel kind of bad opening this up, but we only paid, what, $7.55 plus $9 shipping for this I thing? worked so hard to open this. Well, yeah, it doesn't come with cassettes. It just holds cassettes, which you provide. This is Cinnamon Oat O's with marshmallows, which sounds like an interesting combination, much like Bill and Ted themselves. Yes. <laughs> What's the other guy up to? I always thought the other guy was Sean Penn. Like oh, when gosh. I was a kid, I thought the other guy was Sean Penn. I don't know, what, and I thought that, and it, it wasn't even getting him confused, I just thought that that was what Sean Penn looked like. Oh my goodness. Smell of that. Ooh, it smells like a- Cardboard. Long day with Keanu Reeves. Mm, golly. The, the, um, the marshmallows have desiccated. Ah. Uh. This, <laughs> I don't know if this is even safe at this point, Link, but you know. How old is this, 1991? Yeah, they keep letting Keanu make movies, so let's. We're talking, tw this is 28 years old? God, Did I do that math right? I, I have every reason to believe that that was not puke, that little piece was not <clears throat> puke green in 1989. Maybe don't swallow it, but definitely taste it. Uh, hold on, you can smell the cinnamon and the oats. Maybe the cinnamon and the oats will bring it home. Mm. Maybe it'll make it hold up after all these years. Now, let me point out, this is made by Purina. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, it's made by Purina. That uh, is their logo, it says it right there. The dog food company. But is this dog food? No. We're, not, we're nervous. Oh gosh. It's really It's like eating a thrift store. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man, it's, it's really starting to come now. <coughs> oh man, you know that smell at a thrift store. Mm. Imagine It's like going to the back, digesting just, it. Just biting into a rack. Mm. Oh clothes. my gosh. Most heinous. That that is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling that this would be a lot like it would be like to uh, watch the movie right now. Yeah. If we were to eat this and watch the movie together, we'd probably just vomit all over the television. Poop it! <laughs> okay, wrestling fans, Brett the Hitman Hart cereal was created by the WCW in the year 2000, so these 18-year-old oven-baked cornflakes lightly coated with honey and almond bits cost us 36 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna be real Plus careful 11 with this. Eleven dollars to ship it, so we really invested in this one. Now we're ripping it open. Look at those pecs on the front. Oh. Makes me hungry. Oh gosh! Oh, I didn't do that. Oh man, the oh. smell that just came out of those corn flakes. Oh, Pour oh me. wow! Smell that first. Mm. That's what I imagine like the floor of a wrestling ring yeah. smelling like. <laughs> like the you know? underside of it. Like if you if you pulled up the curtain and you stuck your face in there. Like, it's like if you smeared sawdust into Brett the Hitman Hart's armpit <laughs> and then licked it. It looks great though. I think there was a toy I mean, in this. I think it's a needle with steroids in it. <laughs> now we're just talking 
Nope. Did, this is basically just looks like Frosted Flakes to me. Yeah, it, it, these cereals that were named after celebrities, it wasn't about the cereal. In the, in the 80s and 90s, the kids just ate anything you put in a bowl. You know, there was absolutely no discretion. Their parents just gave them anything. It seems like the year 2000 was a sweet spot for this type of stuff too, like on the back end of that era. Uh, Brett's signature move was a sharpshooter. I think these are gonna be the sharpshooter <laughs> if you decide to swallow. Mm. Oh. If you swallow this, it's gonna cause a royal rumble in your stomach. No. Oh. Oh. oh, it's kind of like just eating paper. <coughs> it's, <coughs> it's, it's so not crispy, crunchy, <coughs> or anything positive that you would associate with the mouth feel of a cereal. Yeah. It's like, it's bendy and papery. You think we could send this into Smyrna, Georgia? and still get this hat and uh, t-shirt. <laughs> Look at that, we get both of them for $24.95. It's funny how that's not even a great deal now. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? They made, made all their money off merch <laughs> in the back. Bret Hart was overcharging for his merch, man. <laughs> Dang. Let's try it though. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little sick, honestly. And none of it even went down the pipe. I think it's because you made eye contact with Brett. Oh, true. That's all it was. So what's the verdict? Poop it. it. All right, hopefully we won't be pooping later on. Yeah, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Courtney. And I'm Lauren. We're from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And it's, and it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating cereal. Uh, was that Bret Hart's cereal? <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, You're gonna fill it, it out, later, spin ladies. It out. Click the bottom link to watch this episode from the beginning. And click the top link to watch us lick dry cereal blindfolded in order to guess what we're licking in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Tired of feeling a breeze on your head every time you go outside? Get our GMM logo hat and cover up that dome. Available at mythical.store.